Hey, Navigation Traders, welcome to today's update. Today's Monday, December 16th. Let's start off with the S&P 500. Where are we at? Well, we are strong again. The market just closed about 30 minutes ago on Monday, and s and is up 23 points, hitting all-time new highs. Impeachment, we don't care. Trade war, we don't care. We're going higher. That's all we care about. And so just another explosive move to the upside. Here's the expected move for the week. And as you can see, we've almost touched that already just out of the gate to the upside. Implied volatility continues to get annihilated. Uh, we've got an IV percentile of one, IV rank of one. I mean, there's just no juice in these options. No fear whatsoever. So what are we doing? today? Well, we didn't put on any new trades, but we did close out a couple. First being in our friend Amazon, AMZN, booked a beak profit in a duck here. So this is one we just put on a few days ago right in here. Got this rally, quick rally. Got to a point where we had very little chance of getting back to the max profit area. So we just took that money and ran. We'll redeploy that into other trades, possibly Amazon again later this week, maybe Google. I was also looking at Shopify and Roku today, but I'd like to see a little bit of a reversion, a little bit of downside, a little bit of pop and implied volatility before we do so. So we'll see if we get that later this week. The other thing that we did today is we took off one of our pieces of our bond. So we, we just put this on a few days ago and implied volatility contracted. Let's look at TLT to get an idea of the implied volatility here. You can see it's really just contracted these last few days. And so we took off over 30% of max profit on that trade within just a few days. So good deal there. We've got another piece on still in ZB. So we'll, we'll continue to manage that, but we may jump back into bonds. It's one of the only asset classes really now that still has decent high implied volatility along with natural gas and a couple others, but uh, slim pickings for premium sellers right now, but we'll just, we'll continue to stay mechanical. We do have more cash on hand ready to be deployed than we usually do. So definitely looking for some opportunities and we'll take advantage of those opportunities as they come, but there's no reason to, to push or rush anything that's not there. The other thing, this week is December expiration week. So this is the last week of trading for those December options. We've got four days to expiration. So Friday is the last day. So we've got three positions left in December in our portfolio. So we will be rolling those the rest of this week. So look for that. We just like to kind of spread out those rolls throughout the process so we don't do it all in one day or all at one price level. And then... Lastly, we've got a few earnings this week. We've got FedEx on Tuesday after the market closes. So we'll be looking at potential earnings plays on FedEx. Nice high implied volatility there. On Wednesday, we've got Micron, MU, is uh, reporting after the bell on Wednesday. So again, some eh, not great implied volatility, but we'll see where that's at here in a couple days. And then Thursday, Nike, the swoosh, comes in for earnings. So a few that we're looking at, kind of three of the last earnings before this earnings cycle is done. So it's getting slim pickings on that. So obviously next year in January, when earnings pick back up, that'll create some activity if, if implied volatility is still low. But we've got a lot going on. We do have the vote on the impeachment. Don't see that really moving the market too much unless there's a surprise, of course uncertainty or surprises the market always reacts to, but if everything kind of plays out as everyone thinks it will with no actual impeachment, then we shouldn't see much issues as far as volatility, but would love to see something else create some volatility, but we'll see what happens. Hope that was helpful. We'll talk to you tomorrow.